We are asked to list the following compounds in order of their vapor pressure. Water, methane, and fluoromethane. And the vapor pressure is due to the amount of vapor in equilibrium with a liquid or solid phase, and that vapor is exerting a vapor pressure. So in order for a component to vaporize, the intermolecular forces must be broken down. And so that means that the weaker the bond strength, we need less energy to vaporize a component. This means we will have a higher vapor pressure because we are more likely to have a larger amount of vapor exerting a pressure. So in order to answer this question, we can analyze how strong the bond strengths of each compound is. So I will create a chart of the strongest types of bonds to the weakest types of bonds so we can solve this problem. So this chart tells us that the strongest type of bond is an ion-ion bond. Then we move on to an ion-dipole bond then hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole interactions, and then we move on to London dispersion forces. And this chart is pretty helpful in other problems as well and something you may want to keep in mind. And your textbook should be able to explain these different types of bonds well. So going down the list, we can see that all of these compounds don't exhibit ionic interactions. They are held together by covalent bonds, so there's no ion-ion interactions and there's no ion-dipole interactions for the compounds in question. Although, there is hydrogen bonding present, and that is within H2O. This sketch here shows us what a hydrogen bond would look like, which is present here. And hydrogen bonding is present when a hydrogen is bonded to a very electronegative atom, and that can be an oxygen, fluorine, or nitrogen. Now you may look at fluoromethane from the problem statement and say, well, we have a hydrogen and a fluorine atom. But if you draw the Lewis structure, the fluorine is not actually bonded to the hydrogen, it's bonded to the carbon, so that doesn't exhibit hydrogen bonding. So we can see that water has the strongest bond strength and therefore the weakest vapor pressure. So now we can move on to the next type of bond, which is the dipole-dipole interaction. And this is due to differences in electronegativity. We can start by looking at dipole-dipole interactions within methane by drawing the basic structure. Each hydrogen is bonded to the central carbon atom. And if we look at the periodic table, we can see that carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen. So carbon will have a partial negative charge, whereas each hydrogen will have a partial positive charge. So if we want to draw our dipole moments, they will look like this. The head of each arrow is pointing towards carbon, which has the partial negative charge. Well, if you'll notice that this molecule has symmetry, so the arrows pointing to the left and right will cancel, and the arrows pointing up and down will cancel. So there is actually a net dipole moment of zero on this molecule. This molecule is nonpolar. So overall, the dipole-dipole interactions will cancel each other out. Now we can look at the structure for fluoromethane. From drawing the dipole moments in the methane compound, we know what they will look like between the carbon and hydrogen atoms in this compound as well. Although, now we have introduced a fluorine atom in the system as opposed to a fourth hydrogen atom. Well, if we look at the periodic table, we can see that fluorine is very electronegative, more so than carbon. Therefore, in the case of the carbon-fluorine bond, carbon will have the partial positive, 
and fluorine will have a partial negative charge. And because there's such a big difference in electronegativity between the two, this dipole moment is going to be much larger. So we can see that this molecule is not symmetric, whereas the arrows pointing down and up will cancel each other out. That is not the case for the horizontal arrows. So therefore, we do have dipole-dipole interactions overall. So fluoromethane has the next highest bond strength. Because we know that the weaker bond strength leads to the higher vapor pressure, we know that the highest vapor pressure is methane. The next highest vapor pressure is fluoromethane due to its dipole-dipole interactions. And finally, our lowest vapor pressure is H2O because of the hydrogen bonding.